All right, guys, I got another little quick flick here. Uh, of course, I always uh, find all these little trinkets and things online. And I think, ooh, I want to put that on my next build, or I'd like to have one of those. Well, one of those things for me was the double bolt down hold brackets, or otherwise known as LS oil pump pickup tube braces that allow you to use two bolts to hold your pickup tube into the oil pump. And yeah, those things are only about uh, 22 to $30. You can order one online generally with free shipping. You know, instead of wasting 25 bucks, I wonder if I could just make one. So I started looking through all my, you know, hoard of junk in the bottom of my junk drawers. And uh, you know what? It kind of dawned on me. All I need to do is measure the thickness of that factory hold down. As long as I can make a reasonable uh, spacer to make up the space of the factory hold down, I can surely make something, even if it was just a slightly larger diameter washer than the head of the factory bolt, and it would hold that thing down. As you can see right here, um, I have the, the pickup tube installed that matches the GM muscle car pan. When I first screwed that in and I thought, well, if I had a spacer to take up that space below and then maybe a slightly bigger washer, I'd be happy with just putting, you know, a washer on that side because this thing only torques to like, I don't know, if you follow the rules, it's like 106 inch pounds or something. But then I thought, I think I can do better than that. Basically, I sacrificed the end of my truck pickup tube. Who's foot? This is going to, the combination of this crow's foot, that other factory bolt, this little piece is literally just a tab off of some kind of a, look like a really thick front end alignment washer that they use when they align your front end on a car. Just put a little crescent or half moon shape in it so it'll fit right up against that factory uh, setup. The thickness of this factory style hold down was 162 thousandths of an inch. My spacer is 160 plus a hair thousandths. I'm less than two thousandths of an inch from being perfect. You know what that means to me? I'm going to put those three items together with my extra bolt. And I'm going to have a double hold down. Okay, guys, here's the finished product. We'll just call it the uh, ad-libbed pickup tube brace by just using the uh, crow's foot that you created off of a piece of a, I guess you could use any oil pump pickup tube you could cut that off of. I will admit I had to use a longer bolt than the factory hold down bolt for the uh, pickup tube, which I just happened to have in my hoard of LS bolts. I just searched through until I found one that was slightly longer that could uh, take up the difference of the spacer to fully engage the threads. Because when I went to install it the very first time, I kind of started, you know, I don't want to say bearing down, but I started trying to get a, a little bit of tightening on it. And I thought, I don't think there's enough of these threads to even handle the 106 inch pounds. And when I went to pull it back apart, yeah, those threads were just on the verge of trying to stretch or strip. But when I got that new longer bolt, it went together no problem. So there you go, guys. A little quick flick. Uh, just a little dab will do you. Put a little dab of blue Loctite on there, snug that bolt down, and now you've got your homemade uh, oil pump pickup tube brace. So there it is. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and hit up those comments. And don't forget that little bell.